when you get cut, mm -hmm. there is something that God has put in your blood called the platelets. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And the platelets go to the womb real quick. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Sometimes the enemy is cutting us up uh -huh. because we're in a battle. sacrifice for the people. But now, the Bible calls Jesus our high priest. Yes, sir. Here comes Jesus and he wraps himself up uh -huh. in sinful flesh. Yes. The Bible said that this same Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted. Yes. To be tempted of the devil in the flesh. Come on now. Because now this is the Jesus, I'm talking about the second person in the Godhead. Huh? The second person in the Trinity. Right. Jesus, God reincarnated in the Son, now wrapped up in sinful flesh. But, now here, here, here's the thing. He had the spirit of the living God in him. So the Holy Ghost was in him. If, if the Holy Ghost wasn't in him, he wouldn't have been able to withstand all the temptation. Come on, talk today. Teach. 
Yes. He wouldn't have been able to make it. I said when the Lord gave me that this morning, I said, you mean to tell me that he was tempted with homosexuality? The Lord said, yes. Child, you teach it now. He said, there's nothing new under the sun, Lorraine. He said, yes, he was tempted in every area. He was tempted with women, yes. Can you see the women going up there and taking off their stuff? Said, now, Jesus, come on, you a man. They didn't the woman at the well do it? Come on now. Am I still in the house or am I a what? She's like, wait a minute, you, you, a, you a man. Teach. Now, I know what to do with men. Teach. So, so she thought that her stuff that she had working on the other five husbands that wasn't hers was going to work on Jesus. See, well, it didn't work for Jesus. My God, my God, I got to get through here. I got to hurry up. Uh, so, so he was led by the Spirit of God into the wilderness to be tempted. Now, comes out. He still has to, uh, glory to God, go to the cross. My God. John called him the Lamb of God. Yes. Yes, that comes to take away the sins of the world. Hallelujah. You mean to tell me everything that I did, everything that I'm doing, everything that I will ever do, that God paid the price for my sins? One simple man. How many know that that's here today? How many know we mess up? How many know sometimes you want to do right? Ooh, my God. I must be preaching to myself. You want to do right. You want to live holy. You want to see Jesus in peace. But look like every time you turn around. Come on, somebody. I'm messing up again. Oh, my God. This is the reason why Jesus said, I got to come now. Because the sacrifice of bulls and goats and, and doves, it wasn't no good. It didn't last. They had to continue to do it. He said, but I'm coming. Come on, somebody. Woo! I'm coming as the ultimate sacrifice, the final sacrifice. Once you get this sacrifice right here, you ain't got to worry about that devil no more. Here comes Jesus. <sighs> Wrapped up in sinful flesh. Help me, Father. Uh, he's now eating the last supper with the disciples. Yes. In the upper room. Mm. Oh, can y'all see this? Can you see this? And he's telling them now at this at the dinner table, he said, uh, I chose twelve. But one of y'all is going to betray me. Glory to God. How y'all not know my shit down? And, and they, they, they begin to question him at the table. And they said, Lord, is it I? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we need to ask, uh, ask the Lord uh, that question today. Lord, is it me? Am I the one that's going to let you down? Am I the one that's going to betray you? Glory to God. See, there is coming a time, and we're getting ready to have the, the Lord's Supper, and we're going to get out of here. But there's coming a time, they know, when, when they're going to come, and they're going to say, either you take the mark of the beast, or you're going to be killed. How many can say today, I ain't going to take no mark? I'm going to stand with Jesus. For God I'll live. For God I'll die. I don't care what you do to me. I'm going to stand right here. Glory to God. The Bible said, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. In that day. In that day. In order for you to make it after the rapture come. Uh-huh. You, you mess around and miss the rapture. In order for you to make it then. It is that you say, Lord, I, I, I missed it, but I, I love you, and I'm still not going to take the mark of the beast. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Then the Bible says you got to get your head cut off. Thank you. Hey, no problem. <laughs> from God I live, from God I die. 
See, we, we, when it comes to woman of God being real with God, you know, y'all know, Lano, when you get a headache, what you say, I got to get me something for the headache. Come on. Amen. 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 I ain't got nobody. Amen. I, when, when I get them cramps and muscle spasm, I be like, oh my God, what can I get? Because they hurt so bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't know pain. It, it, you don't even cannot begin to fathom pain. My God. If you miss the rapture. Mm -hmm. Make a plan. The Bible said that, that there were some disciples that they put it on. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, they hung him upside down. Yes, they did. They threw some to the lions. Come on, sanctified folk. Y'all yeah. uh -huh. just saying, oh yeah, yeah I'm going to live for Jesus. They, they put that pain on you, right? Yeah, they did. That's why you don't want to miss the rapture. Right. See? That's right. Huh? You want to be ready when he comes. Right. Ready. Right. Yes, we do. 